what's uh, one of the biggest life mistakes you think you've made? You know, maybe it hindered your career, or you know, it's 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 one of those things that you made, you learned from it, from it, you moved on as a great teaching lesson. Yeah, I, I'm reluctant to use the word mistakes, and if that's a word that works for other people, I understand that. For me, it's all about lessons learned mm. and experiences had, and mm. and I'll. I want to clarify this, that I believe that everyone we meet, because I, I've run across a, a tremendous amount of pain mm. uh, in humanity and people sharing their pains with me and sending me emails and so forth, and anyone in here who has been dealing with the pain of their past, thinking about mistakes now, I would love to just remind you of something, remind, not teach, and that is that every person you've ever crossed paths with has been there and don't overreact when I say this. Wait, let me explain it. To help you. To hmm. help you. Even if that was not their intent. I didn't hmm. say that was their intent. Hmm. But everyone we meet does one of two things. They model for us behavior worth replicating or behavior worth avoiding. Hmm. And in either instance, they have helped you. Provided hmm. one thing, and that's that you pay attention. So if someone really was nasty at some point in your life or sought to crush you in some way or was abusive, fill in the blank at what kind of abuse, doesn't matter, just abusive. Our job is to take note, file that away, and spring from that and know exactly what not to do to someone else. Mm. Mm. If there is any <clears throat> mistake, if, if, if I'm to go there and try to say a mistake, it would be to have not um, not gotten into this teaching full-fledged until my mid-30s. I would love, because I was, I was ready at 20. I was ready. I was eager to connect with people. I had responsibilities, and I said yes to those, and many of you know this about being a young parent and so forth. So I waited, and basically I waited until there was an alignment, and this is not said as a joke, although it's kind of amusing. Um, <laughs> I waited until there was an alignment between me visually and me intellectually, mm. meaning I'm now 51, although the top of my head recently celebrated its 88th birthday. <laughs> okay. But as a kid, <laughs> as a kid, there was such a disparity, and basically what I'm sharing with you is I've, I've grown into my own appearance. Mm. So as a, as a bald dude at 51, suddenly I'm entitled to an opinion, whereas at 25, I don't know who wants to listen to a 25-year-old mm. spouting off profundities about life, mm. you know. So, but I'm, I'm, I, I gotta say, I kind of live a regret-free life because, for starters, regrets don't serve us. Mm. They don't serve us. I keep my my focus in the windshield, mm. stay in the here and now, and 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 just thank life for the lessons learned from whatever I went through that was difficult. Here's the cool news: everyone in this room has one major thing in common, and that is that you are a survivor. Hmm. of whatever it is. Hmm. So I really celebrate that with you today. How you got here, it's not that it's meaningless, but the bottom line is you're here. So let's rock. Hmm.